Hey guys, it's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. We've got our HTC One here, and uh, today we're going to unlock the bootloaders. That is the first step in our road to putting a custom ROM on this device. And it's uh, pretty easy, it's a little complicated as far as it's got a lot of steps, but we're gonna walk you through it and uh, we'll get it done pretty quick. So hang in there, we'll be right back and we'll get started. So unlocking the bootloader is going to allow us to root the device and put on a custom recovery, then eventually be able to start flashing custom ROMs and make this phone so, so much better. It's already an awesome phone, but it can be better. Now the first bit of warning, unlocking the bootloader is going to wipe all the information off of your device, all your saved files, music files, uh, pictures, videos you've got on here. It's basically going to factory reset your device back to how it was when you first pulled it out of the box and fired it up for the first time. If you want to save anything, pictures, music, that kind of thing, you need to do a backup. Just go ahead and plug it up to your computer and save everything to the computer. Now, with that being said, we need to get some files. This is the folder that you're going to need to download. Let me zoom in so you guys can see it. One drivers underscore fast boot. Big thanks to QB King 77 for compiling this folder for us. There will be a link down below where you can find this over on his website. When you open up this folder, it'll be a zip file at first. You need to unzip it. And then when you open it up, you see you've got a couple files here. There's three driver files. The first one is for 32-bit system. The second one is for 64-bit system. And the third one down at the bottom is kind of a just in case the first ones don't work. So you need to, depending on your system, 32 or 64-bit, you need to install either the BMP USB driver 32 or the BMP USB driver 64. Once you've done that, we need to get into the bootloader on the device. And it's very simple. I always like to go ahead and turn the phone off. So just go ahead and power down. Wait a second or two for it to completely power off. Now, we're going to power it back on, and while we do that, we're gonna hold the volume down button. So holding the volume down button, press the power button, takes you into the bootletter screen. Now you'll notice that at the top it says locked, when we're all done with this, it will say unlocked. Now you may be able to see on mine, it already says S off. Uh, I've already gone through that process, but don't worry, in a later video, I will show you how to do that. So we need to get into the fast boot menu, so uh, it's already highlighted. You just press your power button, and now we're in the fast boot. We can plug up the device. Now your computer may install some drivers. Just go ahead and let that complete before we do anything else. All right, so now we need to go to the HTC Dev website, and we're gonna use this website to unlock the bootloader. Now you have to set up an account. Uh, it's very simple, easy, it's free. So go ahead and set up an account. If you already have one, you need to go ahead and log in. Now we need to press this unlock bootloader button here to start the process. Unlock bootloader, get started. Now the first step is to select your device. We need to find the HTC One, which is right here. Now we skip the first couple of steps because we've already done that. We've got into HBOO, we've connected to the computer. Now we already have our fast boot files, so we don't need to download those. We can skip this part. Go on to the next to step five. Now, step five is where we want to start here. So what we need to do is go over to our files that we have open. We need to double click on the fast boot folder to get into that folder. Okay, so while holding shift, we need to right click on the window here, and then we need to go to open command prompt here. And that did indeed open a command prompt. 
So now the first thing I want to type in is uh, to test to make sure that our device is recognized. Fast boot space devices. And we hit enter and this is what we want to see. We want to see these numbers with fast boot next to it. That means that the uh, computer recognizes our HTC One no problem. If you don't see these numbers or maybe it says waiting for device then you need to something's going on you need to check either your cable um, check the drivers maybe you need to uninstall them and reinstall them so now with this uh, HTC dev website still open off to the side there's a command that we need to type into our command prompt and it's this one right here fastboot OEM get identifier token now what we can do is just highlight this copy and paste it into our command prompt now make sure you don't get the period though so as soon as you hit enter you get this long list of numbers here if you look over to the HTC dev site here it shows you exactly what you need to copy so we're going to you need to right click and select mark then you want to click right at the arrow for the identification token start and we're going to go all the way down to the arrow of identification token end control C to copy and then we're going to go back to the HTC dev website here and then we need to paste it into this section here control V then choose submit now this is going to send us an email with our unlock key as a file attachment we just need to go to that email and save that file because we're going to be using that here in a second all right guys so we have our unlock code that we got from the email and you see here that i have copied and pasted it into the fast boot folder so here it is right down here so now we need to get back into our command prompt. Once again, if you have uh, gotten rid of it, just hold down shift and right click. And right down here, open command window here. And there is ours. Drag it over a little bit. All right, now we need to put in the command that will actually unlock the device. And when you get your unlock code in your email, uh, in that same email, there will be a link that you can click on to continue the process. We'll take you back to the HTC Dev website and we'll continue with these next steps. The next command we want to put in is fastboot space flash space unlock token space unlock underscore code dot bin. Then you hit enter. Now we take a look at our device and it's asking us if we want to unlock the bootloader. Right now it's set to no, so we push the volume up to set it to yes, and we hit the power button. Now the device has rebooted and we can unplug it here. We don't need to have it plugged into the computer anymore. Once it fires up, we can go back to the H boot and we will confirm that it is unlocked. So we'll be right back. All right, so as I said, the operation would completely wipe the data on your device, bringing it pretty much back to factory settings, just like it would be when you get it out of the box. So when it boots up for the first time after the process, you have to go through the whole setup process again. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. And there we go, guys. Hopefully you can see that it does say unlocked now. So our bootloader is officially unlocked. The next step in the road to Iran will be rooting this device. And then the final step will be doing S off, which as you see there, I've already done, but I'll still show you guys how to do that in another video. So thank you very much for watching. As always, this is Sam with mobiletechvideos.com. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to help out. And don't forget to check us out. You can follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. This